This is the free motion quilting tutorial for feather loops. This design is stitched by first starting with a long kind of U-shaped channel and then going inside of that to create a stem and then now you can see I'm working off that stem to fill it with feathers. And I actually forgot to hit record on my video camera which is why I'm kind of starting right here in the middle of this design but I will show you the beginning section as well. But I want to talk to you about the feathers that I'm forming in this design. I'm just simply bouncing off travel stitching on top of the last feather and then swirling up and around or down and around to create that nice plump feather look. And that's the way that I, it really works best for me. Everyone stitches feathers differently though. Yeah. So it's important to play with the design and experiment with it to find the angle and the direction that works best for you. Now in order to stitch the opposite side of feathers I always return to my starting point back at the very beginning of the feather or I travel stitch or I break thread and go all the way back. And the reason I do that is because I cannot get this nice beautiful flowing feather shape, this nice angle and keep the feathers look like they're flowing from the same direction. I can't get that unless I'm actually stitching from the same direction. So that's just something uh, unique to me but I'm sure a lot of other quilters will find this easier if you just try it. So I'm going to fill in and I'm going to try and fit this side together with that first side so that way it looks really nice and consistent. There we go. That entire feather loop has been filled up and looks very beautiful. Okay, now you can see the beginning of this design. I'm going to travel stitch all the way over because I want to leave some space for the opposite side. I'm going to have another feather loop coming in from the opposite side to fill in that area. So how I get started is I just simply come up with this large U shape and return to my starting point. And then I'm going to travel stitch inside and create another very skinny U shape. That's my stem. And if you have trouble keeping all these lines straight and even, just mark them. It's really no big deal. Now you just simply fill that shape with those feathers as I told you about before. Now we're going to fast forward to the opposite side and you can see how I took it another U shape in from the opposite side, fitting it in together with the first two and then filled it with feathers as well. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish feather loops. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.